feel the blood creeping up from the heathens. Got will, got fight, got pride, got reason. If they want to go eat, then you know I'm going to feed them. If you're coming for me, hope you're ready for a demon. I feel the blood creeping up from the heathens. Got will, got fight, got pride, got reason. If they want to go eat, then you know I'm going to feed them. Okay, in the second part of the video, we are going to make the zirconia bridge on the titanium bar that we designed before. Uh, for this part, we need anatomic pontic, it's zirconia, we have pre-op, A3.5, and virtual gingiva is okay. Uh, I mark all the 12 T's uh, in the lower jaw, and I omit the uh, restoration in the upper jaw, and of course, uh, I don't want them to be bridged. Okay, let's see what's happened, because uh, we don't want to be separated. But when we have gingiva, maybe we don't need the connectors. Okay, we start with the the cast that is saved uh, from the past video. As you can see, the bar is attached to the cast. The pre-op is separate. Uh, I changed the direction for the wax up. I don't want to be overly waxed up and the taper point four and a smoothing point four because i want the holes to be get closed i don't want my zirconia to get into the holes okay let's see what's going on and how does the wax up uh the relief cast look like uh, in this case the relief wax shouldn't be so far from the gingiva and as you can see yeah it's good the holes are closed and I can change the rest the type of the teeth so it gets uh, better resembling of uh, my wax up so As you can see here, we get as close as we can because always we cannot fit uh, the T setup in the wax up. And um, maybe need a little bit tweaks so it gets a better profile. And watch the difference between the bar and the tooth position because we have. Uh, recession in the mandible and because of that we have problem with our tooth setup okay we cut the teeth to the gingiva and of course a little bit farther because i don't want my teeth to get uh kind of close to the bar of course it's not getting uh free space just get filled with the gingiva part okay i design my uh, zirconium mm -hmm. bridge uh, i mark the perimeters with the dots at this stage and yeah this is my bridge i can check the uh, base thickness and cervical thickness so uh, my zirconia doesn't get thin and breakable and smoothing is uh, get it more smooth and cleanable okay when I'm happy with that as you can see I can change the desired thickness and right now I have a little bit less than enough thickness in the lingual part it's over the bar so i add some material maybe it, it infer, interferes with a uh, patient's tongue but we should have both aesthetic comfort and comfort and in the meanwhile our restoration should be tough enough so it could uh, handle the loads in the jaw Okay, 
Oops. So good. Perfect. Yeah. It's awesome. And in case that we want to be more anatomic and we don't want to get uh, too much uh, deformation on the restoration, we could do it with add and remove. Okay. I prefer the lingual part to get polished not be to indentate it but the buckle part because of the static is better to have forms okay right now we have the bridge ready for but for the most cases we are going to have screw holes screw access what should we do that well, why in case that something happened to bar we can't open it with this design so we need uh, a little bit tweak let's see what we could do that and first of all I bring my screw as a general visualization it should be yeah in the same position as the screw holes are but it's not an editable object so I convert it to object okay and now I do something okay. close the hole so it makes solid because I want to uh, cut it okay uh, I save it again. No, I'm going to make it as attachment. So, um, once again, I'm making my bar. And of course, I put the tick for optimizing for better free forming because uh, first I will print this, I will check it in case that I'm happy with the result then I will go to for milling because the milling is time consuming it's more uh, pricey okay after that uh, is, uh, the second part that we are going to add it as attachment and of course I should take uh, do not allow any change and subtract it from my restoration. So let's see what's happening. Yeah, I have beautiful holes and my restoration is a kind of screw cement restoration. So whenever I want, I can uh, remove the restoration and unscrew the restoration. So we have, uh, very complicated restorations make it easy make it uh, more cost effective and of course it's more uh, retrievable with screw holes thank you everybody i hope you enjoyed this lesson and i hope you do it well in your practice Feel the blood creeping up from the heathens. Got will, got fight, got pride, got reason. If they wanna go eat, then you know I'm gonna feed them. If you're coming for me,